Yeah, you're fine right there. Totally fine. Plus one, two. Cool. How's everybody's Thursday going? Good, bad. We hate Thursdays. We love Thursdays. Good, 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 good. I woke up thinking it was a Friday, and then I had missed my flight, so that was great. And then, <laughs> oh, the terrible sound, I'm sorry to all. Okay, we're in a good mood. Just yes. I'm going to use these as well. Yeah. Now, the green band, just for all, is totally optional when we're doing it, just because a lot of people won't have them at home. But if you want that extra little resistance, you can use this. I'll tell you when I'll use it as well. No one on green. Do you have exciting weekend plans? Like going to walk, going to hike? No. No weekend weekend plans? No, no. Is it an okay, like, temperature for everyone, or is it a little too warm? Too good. Temp, not too hot. Better? Better. Okay. Um, is it too warm? We were having issues with the AC the other day, just in this room. We're okay? It's a little warm, but we're okay. Okay. Now I can at least tell my manager that it's still kind of warm. But as long as we're good. Then I'll speak up as we go.
on the order of things a little bit so stay tuned we're also going to target some smaller muscles today for example like your inner thigh rather than just your full thigh or your inner quad excuse me so we'll do a lot of ground work today it might feel like you won't sweat as much luckily the warm is pretty the room is pretty warm so maybe you'll sweat anyways um but you'll see there's a lot of fine-tuned movement so i really want to focus during this minute that we have on that nice pelvic tilt that we talked about the first class. So finding nice even footing, tucking that pelvis, pelvis in, really engaging that core so that if I stood next to a wall, my back would be flat. For those of you in class, you can actually walk to the back of the wall. Make sure you can feel what that looks like and then step away from it. It's an uncomfortable position. Like you don't walk like this because you look like something's wrong. But... Get comfortable with that. All right. In that case, it is 12.15. We are going to get started. No, Zoom class today. All right. Happy Thursday, everyone. Feet together. Pour it in in front of you. In four, three, parallel out to first. We go in and then out. In. And out, look at your shoulders, roll them nice and down your back. Keep that long core. Feel like you're hugging a large beach ball and opening up. Treat your, so that your shoulder blades squeeze together behind you. That's rude. In four, three, hold in first, releve, lift and lower. Realize that you're squeezing your full leg up to your glute to hold stable. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. In four, three, first out to second, first and second. As you lift that foot up, try to point your toe. Again, it's plies, so your hips should be right underneath your heels. In four, three, hold in second, bend, extend, bend, extend. Nice work. Keep going. In four, three, second, turkey lunge, second, and back, second, and back. Pointed forward the entire time on top of those hips. Pass that out. Find your shoulders, roll down your back, right on top of both of those feet. In four, three, second, back to first. In four, three, Switch side first to second. Again, still pointing that toe. And four, three, holding second, bend, extend, bend, extend. Focus on those hips or in that plie. Thank you, guys. Hold it down. Nice work. Four, three, second, curvy lunge, second, and back. Chest stays nice and tall. And four, three, pass 
it up. Off. Really stack yourself on top. Engage that core. Tip your pelvis under. In four, three, second, back to first, last time. Second, and in. In four, three, hold in second, hold it here. Reach all arms in three, two, alternating releve. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Nice work, stay here. Lower, lift, lower, in four. Three, both at the same time, so lift and lower, lift and lower. As you lift, you're trying to keep your head in the same place. Let those feet come over top, your front toe. Nice work, keep going. In four, three, hold and releve, hold here. You should feel like you're trying to balance on your big toes. You're rolling all of your weight forward. In four, three, two, relax. Adjust those feet, point it to the corners of the room. In four, three, two by two, wide squat. Sink for two, stand it up. Sending the hips to the back of the room. Chest stays tall. Last one, singles, here we go, sit it down, press up. Press up through your heels, so you can balance, you can wiggle your toes the entire time. Pop it at the bottom, pulse here. In four, three, to the right, we lunge, turn, and lunge, and lunge. Couple more. In four, three, pulse it up, pulse here. In four, three, squat to the front, turn and squat. Nice work. In four, three, pulse it at the bottom. Left lunge, here we go. Turn and lunge. Nice work. Four, three, toss it out. Pulse. In four, three, squat again. Stand and squat. In four, three, Pulse it out, pulse here. In four, three, hold it at the bottom, holding here. In three, two, one, stand it up. Coming to the side of your mat. Last bit of our warm up. Inch warm off your hands down and out. Hold that plank for a second. Walk it back in. In three, two, one, begin. 30 seconds here. Halfway through, keep pushing. Feel your entire body tighten at your plank. Everything is engaged. Walk it back in. In three, two, meet me in a plank. You're going to walk those knees in to a hover and back out, trying to keep your back in about the same position. In three, two, at your own pace, go in and out. In three, two, one, lower to the ground. Planks, give it. 
Bridges. Loop bridges is the last movement of your warm up. Laying your back on the mat. Make sure your back is pressed firmly into the mat. Every single vertebrae. So you actively have to turn your pelvis a little bit. Engage those glutes. Squeeze that belly button in towards your spine. Feet hip width apart. All the weight is in your heels. So press it up. In three, two, one. Hold it at the top of here. Hands again, as always, by your sides. Across your body. Here in the air. You can wiggle those toes. You can full on take them off of the mat. All of the weight is in those heels. Pressing your hips to the ceiling. Nice work. Hold here. In four, three, lower to the ground. Grab a drink, grab your small weight and your ball. We're going to move to the bar. For those of you at home that don't have access to a yoga ball, which makes a lot of sense, you're going to grab both of your small weights, and I'll show you what you're going to do at home. I'm going to move the camera in just a second. Grabbing your drink, finding your way to the bar. If you're at home, a table or a chair. Or a table if your table is tall enough. Or it's just as well. I am actually going to quick demo on the bar for a second, if you do not mind. First start, everyone find your face, the field. Oh no, you're fine, you're fine. You'll you'll be here in a minute. For those of you in class, the ball is going to be right on top of the bar with your hand. So we're all gonna face this way. We're gonna sit in our first position. Your left leg is gonna come up in that figure four that we stretched in at the end. You're gonna lean in that figure four and we're gonna start first with a straight arm and you're gonna lift you're going to lateral raise one arm. You're going to press down with the other. So it looks like opposite movements. Press and raise, lower. Press and raise, lower. All right? For those of you at home, you're going to do both raises at the same time. So rather than one presses down and one raises, both lift at the same time. All right. I'm going to keep the ball so you can kind of see what I'm doing, but it's all good. Find that figure four position. Sitting your glutes back, so you feel kind of a stretch. Your back should still be nice and long. Again, my back is nice and flat, so I'm not curved. But I'm engaging my core. Yep, I'm engaging my core. Rather than turning up. So my chest isn't super tall, right? Bend it so your core is engaged. Cool. In four, three, we're going to lift, two, and lower. In four, three, two, here we go. Lift. And lower. Again, if you're lifting, you're pressing down with the other arm. So press and lift. And lower and a lift. Press. Press. You can really put a lot of pressure in that ball as you press down. And up. Up. Really. Almost there. Last one. Up, into, down, rest at the bottom. You're going to keep the exact same hand. This time, as you lateral raise, you're going to sit yourself up. So kind of like one single leg hip thrust and back down. In four, three, two by twos. Lift it up for two. Sit down. Up and down. So everything squeezes to reach the top and release. Squeeze. And release. Keep going. Squeeze. Two. Down. Squeeze. Down. Almost there. Squeeze. Last one. Squeeze. Hold it at the bottom. You're going to lose the ball, so just push on between them. Yep. Only one arm has the weight. 
Should be the same arm as that leg. You're going to front and front raise. Long faces your thigh. It's not turned out, so it's not about mass. Your foot is flat, like a yoga pose, and down, out, and down. In four, three, two by twos. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Squeeze that core. Lift that leg up. Try and keep the standing leg still. Up and lower. Last one. Three passes at the top. Three, two, one. Reset. Three, two, one. Reset. Last one. Three, two, one. Reset. This time you're going to flip your palm so that it's facing the ceiling. Same kick, just a different arm. Two by twos. Here we go. In four, three, two by two. Lift it up for two. And down. Up. And down. Focus on that leg. Are your bones pointed straight? Your hips be straight. And down. Four more. Down. Two. Up. Two, three more. Down. And up. Down. One up. Last one. Down. And rest. Three pulses and release. Three, two, one. Here we go. Three, two, one. Release. Three, two, one. Release. Check in with your core. Really? Three, two. You have one more here. Three, two, one. Release. Switch sides. Grab that ball again. Figure four on the other side. Lateral raise and press down at the same time. Sitting back in that stretch. And four, three, two by twos. Lift it up. Relax. Up. Relax. Up. Relax. Both shoulders should already be burning, especially that one that you're pressing into the ball now. Up and lower. Up. Uh, that's rest. Stand it up and lower. Up and lower. Nice work. Up. Lower. In four, three, lose the ball, front kick, up and down, up and down. In four, three, two by twos, lift slow and down. Flex that foot, release. Hips are pointed straight out in front of you. Couple more, keep going. Almost there. Last one. Three pulses at the top. Three, two, one, reset. Three, two, one, reset. Keep going. Last one. Three, two, one, reset. Flip the palm. Same kick, two by twos. In four, three, two by two. Lift it up and lower. You might need to do a little bit of a bend in your arm for that palm to get up. That's fine too. Last one, up, two, three, pulses at the top, three, two, one, reset, three, two, one, reset, keep going. 
Last one. Three, two, one. Reset. Roll it out. Bring all of your stuff back to your mat. We're going to lose all equipment for a second. We're just going to have the mat. I call this the try push up. Tries in three, not triceps. Try push up series. We'll do that at least two more times throughout the quarter. I like to intersperse them at random weeks. So it might be next week. It could be three weeks from now. What's going to happen is we're going to start with our regular push up. Your regular push-up should be at about mat width distance apart, okay? So it's wider than your shoulders. You're outside of your shoulders. Your palms should be at the bottom of your chest or the bottom of your sports bra. All right, so right underneath your chest. As you press down, you're making this V shape, this reverse V shape, rather than straight out, okay? So press down here so you feel your back engage. Kind of like if someone tries to tickle you and you stop them. That's that feeling that you should feel in your lats. All right. We're going to start just on our knees because they will be hard enough. Again, with your knee push up, make sure that you're in a nice plank position so you're not at tabletop. You're pressing your core down. Feet stay on the ground. In four, three, two by twos. Lower for two and raise. Lower and raise. Three more. Last one. Down for two. Up here. We're going to lower for eight. You're going to hold at the bottom of your push up. Lower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Holding here at the bottom. Press it up in eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Press back to child pose real fast. Let your shoulders breathe. Come back into it. We're going to start at the bottom. We're going to pop just to halfway. So at the bottom and halfway. Meet me at the bottom. In three, two, one. Start that pulse. Pulse, 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 pulse. So you're not doing a full push up. Almost there. In four, three, press to the top, halfway, top, half, top, half. In four, three, two, press, back to child pose. Come back up last time with a regular push-up before we change push-up push -up position. In three. Two singles, eight times. One and up. Two, three, four, halfway. Eight, press it back. All right, that's your first of your triceps. That's one out of three. We're going to move into a tricep push up this time. So your wrists are in line with your shoulders, still underneath at the bottom of your chest, at the bottom of your sports bra. Your elbows stay glued to your side. They almost brush your ribs as you come down to 90. And press back up. In four, three, two by twos. Down and up. Halfway there. Last two. Last one. Press down in eight. Down, down. And four, three, two, one. Hold at the bottom. 
Press up in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Press back for child pose. Come back. Bottom, halfway. Meet me at the bottom in three, two, one, and pulse, pulse. And four, three, two, top half. Four, three, two, one, press back. Last round, this is tricep push ups, singles eight times. In three, Two, let's go. One, two, three, four. Last one, child pose. All right. Our last push up in the try push up set. Our shoulder push ups, our pike push ups. Again. Your hands are gonna go out wide. You're gonna find almost a down dog position. So sending your glutes up to the air. Your hands, your wrists this time are above your head. You're gonna dip your face towards the mat. You can do this on your knees as well. It's a little bit more difficult when you're doing a puppy dog. So it's a lot less weight. I'm going to try to do them on my toes first, drop down to my knees when I need to. I would advise you to do the same. You know the steps. You know how it starts. In four, three, two by two. Here we go. Down. Lower and eight, lower, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold at the bottom, press up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, child's pose. Again, if you're on your knees for these, really make sure that your hands are well above your head. So your glutes can go more in the air and your head can go down. Come back to that same position. This time we don't do the half and half just because it's a little harder with the, the face being towards the ground. There's a, a larger chance to like hit your nose. So we're just going to do the singles. All right. In three, two, one by one. One, two. grab a drink if you need. Awesome job. That is our try set. Like I said, we'll do it only two more times throughout the quarter. I do it because I hate it and it's really good for your body. I don't like it any more than you do, so I promise. Okay. You're going to grab your ball and both weights. No, nope, I like you. I'm sorry. You're going to grab both weights and your glider. We're going to stand. All right. Because we focus on single leg in more of a squat position, we're not going to focus on single leg in a lunge position. This time, it's more of a runner's lunge, so your glider foot is going to kick back into a straight leg and come back up. As you press back up, excuse me, Imagine that your inner hips are pulling together, your, excuse me, your inner thighs 
are pulling together to bring you back up. Like a string is pulling you straight back up. We're going to add a bicep curl. Two by twos and four. Three, one leg at a time. Go down. Four, two, come up. Down. And up. How low you go in this lunge is totally dependent on if you can pull yourself back up. Singles, here we go. It's going to be a little bit shorter of a movement. Nice work. And four, three, two, one. Relax. Switch feet. This time, we're going to bend over a little bit more. You're still pulling from that hip, but you're going to add a row instead. So just like your tricep push up, your, your elbows are right next to your side. So tricep and down, row and down. Two by twos and four. Three, two by two. Sit it down and up. Nice work. Couple more, keep pushing. In four, three, singles. Here we go. Down and up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together at the top. Release. Squeeze. Release. Almost there. In four, three, two, relax. Lose the glider. Lose the weight. Grab your mat. And if you're in class, that little loop. And have your ball close by just in case. Like I said, this band and the ball are both completely optional. You at home will do the exact same movements just without the equipment. I would recommend putting the band above your knees for right now. As we go, if you want a little bit more resistance, you can put it below your knees. Just make sure that they're always off of your knees, all right? Don't have the band on your knees. We're going to begin first. with a thigh core combo. My ball is by the side if I need it. I'm gonna find a 90 degree angle, 90 degree bend in my knees. My ankles are gonna be in line with my glutes. So my knees are in front of me. And right, if you look at me from the side, glutes and heels in line, knees in front of me. I'm gonna find my Low plank, so my elbow is in line with my shoulder, that is in line with my chest, all the way to my feet. We're going to press up into a lunge, or oh my goodness, into a side plank, excuse me, and lower. In four, three, two, bad twos. Lift it up for two, and lower. Take it nice and slow. Up, and lower, up. Lower. Your hands can go up in the air if you'd like. You're going to add a clamshell. So you're going to open up that top knee towards the back of the room. Lift for two and lower. Still pressing up and lower. Nice work. Almost there. Hold it at the top. 
In four, three, two, relax. Press through that shoulder again. Straighten out those legs. We're going to do a scissor kick. So both legs are slightly off of the mat. Legs go one way. Legs go the other way. You want to try to keep your hips pointed straight in front of you. Here and here. Take it nice and slow at your own pace. Can sometimes help to point your toes or to flex them. Nice work. In four, three, two, one, relax. I'm gonna take the band onto your top foot and slide it down. We're gonna do an inner thigh lift. So the thigh that's on the ground, you're gonna flex your foot. You're gonna point your baby toe towards the ground, pinky toe towards the ground, lifting your heel up towards the ceiling. Lift and lower. If you don't feel the band yet, right, you can always lower that band onto your calf. Just keep it away from your knee for extra little resistance. At your own pace for 30 seconds in three, two, one, get started. Again, your hips should be mostly pointed directly in front of you. That heel is lifting towards the ceiling first. Like I said at the beginning of the class, these are really, really tiny muscles, little ligaments that we're working. And tendons do. Three, two, one, relax. I'm gonna switch sides. Readjust that band on top of your knees on the top of your thighs, excuse me. Take your knees first. With that side plank. Everyone find this position with me. In three, two, two by twos, lift and lower, lift and lower. Exhale as you squeeze up. Inhale as you release. Keep it going. In four, three, add that clamshell, lift that leg, and down. Lift and lower. Nice work. Really try to open up that hip and come back down. Couple more, keep going. Meet me at the top, hold it here. Four, three, two, relax. Readjust. We're going to those swimmer kicks, kick and back. 30 seconds at your own pace. I definitely gave you 40 seconds last time, so it's going to be 40 seconds on the same side. Three, two, one, 40 seconds, not 30, because I can't look at the clock correctly. Nice and slow, focusing on those hips. They're pointed straight forward. You're flexing or you're pointing your toes. Your core tries to stay in the same spot as well. You're just moving those legs. Fifteen seconds left. Three, two, one, relax. Roll that top, put down.
down, inner thigh lift. Again, 40 seconds at your own speed. Three, two, one, begin. Lift and lower. That heel is raising towards the ceiling and lowering. You can always lose the band, especially for those of you at home that might not have one. Regardless, press through that shoulder. Really press your chest up. Three, two, one. Relax. Lose the band. Grab the ball. You're going to lean back on the ball, bring one knee in and lower. So alternating knee pulls. Again, at your own pace, and then we'll do it together. 30 seconds in three, two, one, begin. Really exhale as you bring your knee into your chest. And three, two, two by twos. Lean it back, press it up. Lean it back, press up. Almost there, back for two. Press up. In four, three, you're gonna try to do both at the same time. Back for two, both. Back and both. Last one, back and both. Lose the ball. Your last 30 seconds of exercise today going to be a boat pose or a V pose. So, you're going to keep your back nice and long. Leaning back, so we, we've done C position before, you're going to keep your back nice and tall. Knees together, you're going to have your hands behind next to you or in a V. Any is fine, 30 seconds at your own pace. In three, two, one, hold here. For an extra challenge, try to press your knees together. Three, two, one, release. Full body stretch while I change the music. Full, full body stretch. Breathing nice and deep. Right. Your back is off the mat. Feet are reaching in one direction, fingertips in the other. Exhale as you bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a quick roll, forwards and backwards, side to side. And take your hands underneath both hamstrings and roll yourself up to a seated position. In a slightly different stretching today. Finding tabletop, so wrists underneath your shoulders, hips underneath your hips on top of your knees, excuse me. Finding a nice tabletop. Your right leg comes right next to your right hand. And you step it up for a crescent lunge. You'll notice my my knees are pretty wide apart. Gonna drop your hands down to the side again. Flex that back foot. Raise it to a runner's lunge. And come all the way up. That back leg arm is up. You stretch over the kneeling foot. 
Maybe look under that armpit. Open up your chest. Come back down. Lower the leg. Back to tabletop. Switch sides. Hip flexor stretch first. Hands find the ground again. Flex that back foot. Runners lunge. Back leg, arm up, and over. Looking under your armpit, opening up your chest. Slowly release it back down to the ground. You're gonna take your knees wide, press into child pose. Child pose can be active, so I'm gonna have you stretch your hands out wide and actively press through the palms to send your hips onto your onto your heels. Feel a nice back stretch here. Still stretching the back, you're gonna find a nice cat, so you're gonna press up, cat, cow, one more, cat, cow, and find a regular tabletop. Flex those feet this time. Down dog into a forward fold. Bend those knees as much or as little as you'd like. Heel toe your feet into center. And roll up in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rotate your shoulders back three times. On your last one, cactus your arms out. Interlace the fingers behind your back. Nice chest opener here. You can choose to dip forward. I like to stay standing. Slowly coming back to standing, releasing those arms. Big T with your hands. Right comes over to your left side. You're pressing that shoulder into the ground. Did a lot of arm work today. Slowly release and switch sides. In an effort to get you out on time, we're going to take a really wide stance here. As you bend down, you can take a little bit of a stretch as you inhale. Exhale, stand it up two more times. Inhale, stretch a little bit. Exhale, come to the top. Last one all together. Inhale. And exhale. Really awesome job. As always, towels and things, come talk to me, comments, questions, concerns. Today was a little bit of fusion and traditional, so just let me know. We've done traditional, we've done fusion, and now we've done a mix of both. So let me know what you like best. All right. Have a great week, everybody. Thank you for joining. Thank you.